<laughs> and he's putting his playful mood down to his landmark birthday being firmly behind him. I am relieved it's over because going to 40, 40, 40 is. And so you want the brakes to stop, to stop you going. And I remember the night before I couldn't really sleep thinking, if I just stay awake, it'll be slower to get there. But once you get there and you've done it, it's within a day or two, you're like, oh, was that it? I feel different. Why do you feel different? I feel relieved. I feel different, I feel better, I feel... Feel different in a good way? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I can... I've got to get on with things and just do things. And these lot bring the joy to me that I can't explain. I love you. So much, uh. But he's not ready just yet to start acting his age. Right, so I'm going to get in the bin without the kids noticing. I'm going to shut the lid of the bin, and then Emily or someone's going to go, oh, go and put that in the bin. When they open it, I'm going to surprise them. With the children distracted, Pete makes his move. It wasn't as good as I thought, actually. Can oh, I get out smell. of it? No, it's not. It's a new thing. <laughs> Did you just throw some stuff at me as well? <laughs> Despite their best efforts, Emily and the children are leaving the farm empty-handed. We haven't come away with a guinea pig, which I'm very upset about. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's been good. We had a great day. You know, we all had a laugh, and um, it's just fun. Coming up, fighting talk. I was so, so sure that it was going to be a different outcome. It's time to stop being selfish and stop moping around and actually getting up and doing something about it. And frustration. I, I really, honestly, I want to punch myself. I actually, I, I like, I, I want to actually hit myself. It's been three months since brother Andrew lost his battle against cancer. And now, for the first time since, Pete feels ready to make a stand. We are going to meet the organisers who are going to help us start my own foundation for cancer research. I'm trying to turn such a, such a horrible event into such a positive thing for other people because otherwise, all I'm going to do is... I can't turn my back on it. Pete has called the meeting at his management office. Hi, everyone. Sorry I'm a bit late. How are you? Waiting for Pete are Nikki and Emma from Cancer Research UK. I was so, so sure that it was going to be a different outcome. And then when it didn't, I almost rebelled against it because I thought, you know... You're across. Nothing's ever going to change. And you, and you start become very selfish and you become angry for the wrong reasons and I said to Claire you know I was just not ready to try and do something because I felt I couldn't help the one person I wanted to help how can I help anybody and that's that's what goes through your mind what's really made me come out of that dark place is because I realized that a lot of people can actually be saved mm. if it's caught early you know we believe that the cures for cancer are coming sooner or later 100 percent and it's, it's partnerships like these the one between us that will really help us make that sooner i couldn't be more honored that you guys have like allowed me to do this the plan is to raise funds to pay for specially equipped medical units to tour the whole of the country that's the whole purpose of having these mobile buses to, to have people to be able to people to go and see and get a test done in their lunch break what it will do to people is amazing and I'm so excited to get behind this really really picked up my spirits in in, in a big way 
because I think that, that a lot of people are going to benefit from this and they're going to benefit quick. Since his birthday, he's had this sort of new clear head. He said that, I think, since I've turned 40, this is it now. I want to start taking control of things. It's going to be very difficult, but it's time to stop being selfish and stop moping around and actually getting up and doing something about it. And, and I think that a lot more positive will come out of it than negative. And I'll tell you, if I can help save one person's life, I'll be the happiest person in the world. Straight after the meeting, Pete is summoned by his manager. Claire reckons she's got something for my birthday. I honestly couldn't think at all of what it could be, and I don't need anything, and I don't want anything, and I'm grateful, but there's nothing I could think of. Maybe a toothbrush holder or something. They're, they're the only practical things I need. Have you got me something, really? Yeah. Oh, do you think I'm going to lie to you? I told you I'd got you a present, but it was taking me forever to do it. Sit down. The reason why I didn't want to give it to you at your actual birthday was because I didn't want everyone to be around. If There's nothing going to make me cry or anything like that, like like emotional brothers or. No, of it's no. I mean, it's you know, it's. We'll open it. Are you serious? Oh. Oh, how long did this take you? This is your life. Where did you get these done? I, I've literally been collecting them for ages. I brought this book nearly a year ago when I saw it. And you know what I'm like. No, I this thought... is more special than anything. This is, do you know that? God, is that Bista? Yeah. That is truly the best present, honestly. I wanted to give you pictures that I knew were nice, but, yeah, I, but also, I haven't seen half of these pictures. I, I mean, wanted you to have pictures that would look at that. give you a memory back of Princess look and the Look at table. that. She looked beautiful there. Oh, I love that picture of you. I, I think it's absolutely great. I think that's good. No, I beautiful that colours. Ah, ah. <laughs> Emily. That was so funny. Claire, these are great photos. Wow. Halle yeah. Berry. Oh, no. She was my absolute crush. Oh, you know, this is truly amazing what you've done. Truly amazing. No? Andre, yeah. see, looking hot at 39. Yeah. Don't worry, I won't get upset. I won't get upset. It's fine. That was from. Five years ago, that was. It's looking at you all from those different times, even though Danny wasn't on it. But some of the memories are just too bittersweet for Pete. Did sort of leave it till the end. And this was when it was your birthday, and the kids. <laughs> just get a tissue for a minute. Uh, she's she's beautiful. Thanks. Very very beautiful pictures. Very beautiful. Thank you so much. That is really probably the best present I could ever have. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm really 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 glad that you like it. Oh, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. And hopefully everyone will enjoy looking at it with you. Obviously, he looked at Andrew and then he did get emotional, but you can't do a family album and not keep Andrew in there. There's some great stuff in there, you know. Look, it's inevitable there's certain things that are going to upset me still. Things are still very raw, but on the upside, there's some great stuff, you know, like really, really good. And every memory is a good memory. Tonight, Pete's been invited to a special event in North London, but is having to kill time as he waits for Emily to finish getting ready. Hi, I'm here to go to a nice event this evening. Everything. We really need to get out of I've hypnotised him, basically. Every time I click the fingers, it goes. Whatever I say to him, immediately wakes up and he acts.